Welcome to another Cooking on the Block. Hello, I'm Chef Ellie Espo. Today, we're going to make a nice Lenten dish. You know, that's coming upon us by next week. You know, we'll be into the Ash Wednesday. So, I want to make a, a meatless dish. This is great for a luncheon or a supper with a nice salad. So, let's get started on our crust, okay? Now, what you're going to need is a springform pan. And I have it sprayed with a little pan spray so, you know, doesn't stick. So, what I want to do is I have flour, a stick of butter, and I'll get all the um, recipe on the website for you guys. And I want to add some salt. And we're going to add a nice addition of aniseed. It smells really great. It's like a sweet addition to the crust. Okay, you know you use it in like, you know, your biscottis, you know, the Italian cookies. It really gives it a nice um, aroma, especially when it's baking. Okay, now we're going to also add a few handfuls of cheddar cheese. Okay, this is just like your grandma make, uh, used to cook, right? Handfuls, no cups or whatever, but I'll, I'll give you the right amounts. But what you need to do is just sort of take your hands and mix it well. Use your hands as a pastry cutter. Okay, it's nothing wrong with your hands. Okay, now what we're going to do is just press it into your pan firmly. Just get it down there with your hands. How easy is this? You know, no rolling, nothing like that. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like. Just press it right down, nice and firm, and get it up a little bit up the sides, not too much, but just so it's nice and firm. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. All right, now let's get ready for our filling. Okay, now I told you it's made with vegetables, okay, and you can really use any vegetable, but I normally make it with zucchini, and I have some yellow squash here today, and I'm also going to use some spinach, so get, try to get a lot of vegetables in there because um, it's healthy and it's a good way to use up stuff you have in the refrigerator. So what I have, I have sweating in my pan here with a little bit of olive oil is one sweet onion and two garlic cloves minced, okay, and I sweated that out, not caramelized, you just sort of want to sweat it out, get the juices out. Okay, now we're going to cook down our zucchini, and when we come back, I'll show you the other ingredients we're going to add to it, and we'll get the torta in the oven. Okay, I have a bag of pre-washed baby spinach, and I started to wilt it down into the um, sauteed zucchini and yellow squash with the onions and the garlic. Okay, and you just want to give it a quick stir and it's going to wilt really fast. Okay, and you just keep going with it. And we're going to salt. And we're going to add some black pepper. Generous amount. Okay, seasoning is very important. Okay, this is looking really good and it's smelling amazing. Okay, let's take it off our heat. We're going to bring it over here. Okay, now you know the heat of your pan is still cooking the spinach down. Look at it go. It looks down to nothing. Okay, now for the rest of our filling. I have some rice here, okay, and I cooked a Oreo rice, okay, one cup of it, and it yields two and a half to three cups of cooked rice. I don't really need that much. I'm going to use it for something else, so I'm going to use about two cups of rice, cooked rice. So if you have leftover rice from, you know, your Chinese takeout or you had it the night before from a recipe that you made, feel free. It's, it's a great way to use it up. Okay, now we're going to add our veggies, and we'll temper this down a little bit with the cold rice before we add our dairy and our eggs. Okay, 
okay? It's looking good already, isn't it? Okay, so get all those good crudulums up. We should have that, the nice caramelization of the onions and the garlic. Okay. And my oven's ready. I have a preheated oven at 350 because our torch is going to go in there for about half an hour. Okay. Now, for the rest of our ingredients. Okay. We're going to add the rest of the cheddar cheese. And it's about a cup and a half. If you want to add a little more, no problem. I love my cheese. Okay. A little more salt. We're going to add, now this is one 16 ounce container of sour cream. Okay, now we're going to crack our eggs and we have five. These are extra large eggs. Okay, just give that a good mix. Way. Just want to incorporate it, get it nice and smooth. This would work well with broccoli, saute it down real nice, get it really soft, and you can change out the cheese. You can use anything. Asiago would be nice. Very well mixed, in my opinion. So, we get our crust now, and we just put the filling in. Look at that. Okay, and this is a 9 inch springform pan. Okay, this is going to get nice and golden brown and puffy and cheesy. It's going to be delicious. Okay, now I'm going to throw this in the oven at 350 and we'll have a delicious lunch. Look at this beautiful torta. Ah, the smell in this kitchen. You know what I'm smelling? The anise. In the, it smells like cookies, like you know your Italian cookies. It is so good and goldeny brown. Look how beautiful, Anthony. I bet you can't wait because this is your dinner. All right, it got nice and golden brown. You know what? It took just about 40 minutes. Not long at all. So you know what? I'm going to cut into this baby. Okay, it's really easy. I un unlocked the springform pan and it came out really, really easily. All right, so I'm going to grab. Make sure you get some of that crust on the bottom. Look at that. You can see the layers of the zucchini and the rice and the cheese, right? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, now, this is my reward. I get to taste it for you guys. But you know what? You can taste it too. All you gotta do is make it. And you know what? You can, because the recipe's on the website, and it's all gonna be there for you, nice and easy. Oh, it is so creamy and good, and I love cheddar and the anise and the crust. Molto bene. Guys, you have to make this. And my friends, that was another cooking on the block and I'm Chef Elias. Bon appetit.